All right, you guys, today we check out how to make this rotating sphere with rotating text here in After Effects. Let's click on new composition, type in sphere comp. I'm going to go with width 1080, height 1080, 8 seconds, black background, click OK. Right click here, click on new, select solid, type in grid, click OK. Let's go to the effects and presets, type in grid, drag and drop the grid on the grid solid. And here we're going to go to the corner points and change it to width and height sliders. And I'm going to go with 59 by 109 right now. I'm also going to increase the border to 10. Make sure to bring this to the beginning and activate the stopwatch at the anchor. And now we can go and bring the time indicator somewhere at the end and just bring the values down. So it is going to animate the grid. So if I bring it like that, you can see it's animating. Press the letter U to highlight the keyframes. And I'm going to select this keyframe and push it all the way out. Now let's go to the effects and presets. Type in sphere. Bring the CC sphere under the grid. Increase the radius. Let's go to render full to render outside. Go to the shading. Increase the ambient all the way until it's going to be white. Now we're going to go to the rotation and change up the X rotation. And also the Z rotation something like this let's see how it is animating as you can see it is creating that line and make sure to bring it somewhere where you can see the double lines so now we're going to go back to the grids and i'm going to decrease the width or increase it until it's going to correct it there something like this Great. Now we're going to need to add another circle to connect these disconnected lines. So make sure first to deselect the grid. Click somewhere here to deselect. Long click on the rectangle. Select the ellipse. If you have something on the fill, click on the fill. Click on the none. Click OK. Activate the stroke. Click on the stroke. Click on this one. Click OK. I'm going to go with 12 pixels. Press and hold shift and create a circle like that. Align it to the center and press the letter S for scale. This way you can scale it down. I'm going to go with uh, 97 and there you go. Now let's add the text, select the type tool, type in whatever you want and make sure that you're on the text layer and select the sphere, press and hold shift and we're going to mask the text. Now let's go to the text settings here, go to the path options and change it from none to mask one. Let's reverse the path from off to on. So it's going to be outside. Press the letter S for scale. I'm going to scale it up a little bit more and position it somewhere in the center. I can double click on the text and copy paste it a couple of times and arrange it however you like. Now we're going to need to animate the rotation. Let's open up the text. Let's open the text, go to path options, and here we get the first margin. And if you increase or decrease, as you can see, it is rotating. So I'm going to bring the time indicator to the beginning. Let's activate the stopwatch, bring it somewhere to the end. And I'm going to type in 360, bring the keyframe all the way to the end. And let's see what we got. And I'm going to bring it down. So it's going to go into the opposite direction, actually. I'm going to go somewhere on 500 to make it faster. I'm going to bring the keyframe all the way out, bring it to the beginning, hit play. And pretty much this is it. Thanks for watching.